Abana babiri abasatu naye ababiri bali mu ttaka Eya soka kale nazala nazala bulungi naye nga nazala kasowole Nata vera wera samu nasa Omano woku vera na mzala na vera Na eka le yaluala Yaluala Ne mtu wala kumudua yu na inga talaga msuja Kwa hitu dia uwade ne wukwa wuke chironga chintu chitu Kutu mtu bidewa na mchifuda Nga kema wuke Kwa wendo kula wafula vera in Uganda, the, the child mortality rate stands at 14 per 100 children born. So th there's a very high child mortality in this country, and a lot of that is resulting from lack of access. The average traveling time may be anything between a couple of hours to even days to the nearest health facility. You do find that many of the mothers are not able to afford, for example, the cost of transportation or even the cost of some of the medicines that they would need to buy if they were seen at the facility. A lot Gerald actually was having uh, severe malaria. Temperature was above 39.5, so it was 40 degrees Celsius. So that one qualified it to be severe malaria. The mother said that illness was for two days. If she, if she had brought it yesterday, the temperature wouldn't have rose to that level. And you find that some of these mothers are not are poor. They can't uh, buy that paracetamol even from the private health settings. So you find that that's why the kid is having a higher temperature. The first source of care for a sick child is to first start with some herbal treatment using leaves from the, from the garden or from the village to reduce the fever. The backs of the trees I put into the big, big saucepan, plus those leaves, when they are already dry, I cook. After there, I keep it to become cool. Then I start serving that medicine. The second option would be to go to a, a private drug shop or a clinic somewhere where treatment has to be bought, you have, they have to pay money for, for treatment, but still it's, it's a closer option. It, you, don't, you don't have to walk as far and also you know that treatment will always be there. On. Non. Non, I <laughs> Just bringing simple treatment that doesn't even cost a lot of money to the community and making access to these treatments available for, for the poor, it's, it's really such an easy, simple and easy strategy that uh, I really believe this will have an impact on child mortality. ICCM is Integrated Community Case Management. It's an approach that uses community health workers to identify sick children and to give them treatment for diarrhea, malaria and pneumonia 
as well as to refer children who are severely ill to the nearest health facility. So the reason for treating malaria, pneumonia, diarrhea together in the community is partly because they are diseases that kill very quickly, but also they are the three most common conditions in children under five. It brings community health workers closer to the homes of children to provide medicines that can save their lives.